My name's Matthew Lynn. I write a column for Bloomberg News based here in London. The book is called Bust, Greece, the Euro and the Sovereign Debt Crisis. And it looks at this extraordinary series of events uh, that really started at the beginning of 2010 and then dominated the first half of the year where, where Greece seemed to be going bust, uh, quite literally, and was taking the Euro down with it. The main theme of the book is, is really that the Euro is finished. You, you have to go into quite a bit of the history to try and understand that. That's what I really found fascinating about it. There were some design flaws in the way they put together monetary union, you know, going back over 10 or 20 years. But this really came to a head once you had the cre credit crunch and the sovereign debt crisis. It had exposed all these kind of problems that had been building up over years. And then it suddenly, in the way that financial crises do, it kind of burst into the open in a completely uncontrolled way. And then there was a big panic in trying to, trying to fix the crisis, but getting it absolutely wrong. So the book, the book tries to analyze that and tell the story of that, but it also tries to explain why they got it wrong and why the situation really you can't be salvaged now. The thing that I wanted to make different about this book to other books on the market was to, was to get there first. I wanted to write a book uh, that was coming out you know, while the events were still live, while they were still current in people's, in people's minds, because this is a very complex story, it's a very complex situation, and you can't just understand it by reading one or two newspaper stories. You have to go back into some of the history, some of the politics, even some of the geography of these nations to understand how the crisis came about. I mean, I conclude in the book that you can't really fix the euro in the way that it's constructed at the moment, but you, you can either fall apart in chaos and confusion, or it can be dismantled in quite an orderly, sensible way. Now, obviously, the second option is a lot better than the first. So I hope that if people read the book, they understand that they can do things to fix uh, this crisis. They can make it better. The reason I wrote the book was I just thought it was a fascinating subject. It was an education for me to discover a lot more about the issues involved. And the other reason was that this is a story that's not going to go away quickly. It's going to be a big issue for five years, possibly ten years. So I wanted to write a book that could, that could last, that could explain to people what this was all about, where it was going and why it was important. I think the people who benefit from reading the book are obviously going to be policymakers right across Europe and indeed the whole world where the sovereign debt crisis is an issue. I think investors and finance professionals are going to benefit from it. But I think just a very general audience and investors as well and just people who are reading about this crisis in the news but want to understand a little bit more about how, where it's come from and about where it's going.